In today's story, the hero is an African teenager named John Tuo. The boy from the Kenyan city of Nairobi lived in a slum. He had no relatives to take care of him. To survive, John had to beg. In Africa, poor children often earn money to feed themselves by approaching car drivers who stop at traffic lights. That's how John Tuo used to earn his living. Of course, not all drivers were friendly to the beggarly guy. John was used to the fact that someone might treat him badly, but asking for money was absolutely necessary. He just didn't know how else to survive on the street and not starve to death. On this day, the beggar approached the cars as usual to get a few coins, but when he looked inside one of the cars, he saw an unexpected picture. There was something in the car that struck the guy to the core. There was a woman sitting in the car and she had many tubes on. The young guy could not understand what all this meant. He started to ask the woman what it was all about. She told him that she couldn't breathe on her own because of health problems. That's why she needed an oxygen balloon and lots of tubes. When he heard this story, he was completely shocked. John was used to surviving on the streets, but he hadn't lost his capacity for compassion. When he found out what had happened to the unfortunate woman from whom he was begging for alms, the unbelievable happened. The beggar, who was used to a harsh and hungry life, just cried. Yes, he could not hold back the flood of tears that poured from his eyes in a hail. John felt so sorry for the woman with the huge balloon and the pile of tubes that he could not stop crying. The unfortunate woman with the tubes, whose name was Gladys Commande, told the guy about her health problems. Her lungs were failing, so the balloons were just necessary to keep her from dying. Gladys went into detail about the equipment that was saving her life. It turned out that her situation was the result of a medical error. During one of the surgeries, doctors damaged one of the nerves, leaving the woman paralyzed on the left side of her body. Also, because of problems with her lungs, she cannot breathe on her own. When John heard all of this, he wanted to do something to help the unfortunate woman. He realized that someone could be even in a worse situation than the beggar. After all, health problems are really scary. The guy really wanted to help the poor woman but just didn't know how to do it. So John handed the poor woman all the money he had collected. The boy knew that those coins weren't enough to save Gladys, but it was all he could do for her. He wanted to give Gladys all the money he had collected and thereby cut off his food for the whole day. The woman began to calm him down by holding his hand. A passerby came up to the car when he saw the boy crying. When he realized what had happened, he took a few pictures of what had happened. The man posted the pictures on the internet giving a detailed description of the unbelievable situation. The pictures immediately went viral. People around the world were amazed at what the young boy had done. He melted the hearts of thousands of users who had stopped believing in goodness. People wanted to help Gladys because she needed a huge amount for treatment, and users did indeed raise money for the woman so that she could improve her health. Gladys got about $80,000. This story changed not only Gladys' life in an amazing way, but John's life as well. One of the women who read the post about the kind beggar decided to adopt the boy. John now lives in a good home with his loving mother. The woman who adopted the boy really loves him, so the kindness and compassion of John who asked for money for food from stop-and-go drivers at traffic lights changed two whole lives. And of course, this amazing story would not have been possible without social media and the help of others. A real chain of kindness was set in motion, and as a result, Gladys was able to improve her health a bit, and John stopped being poor, lonely beggar on the street. Miracles do happen. We just have to remain kind and compassionate people who have not lost the ability to empathize and help those who are worse off than we are.